First of all, your chief concerns for the Rohingya people now. How desperate is the situation? Well, we're not on the ground and haven't been able to access most of these people, but we've heard reports about um, the violence that's affecting civilians, and we're calling for calm and for these civilians to be protected amid the security operation. We believe that um, because some supplies have been cut off, that people could be in desperate need of shelter, of medical care, and of food. Uh, you know, in, in, in addition to those fleeing uh, across the border to Bangladesh, what are you hearing about those claims of abuses? What are your people being told? Um, we've heard reports about uh, villages and homes being burned and people uh, having to flee their homes. Um, we're concerned about these reports um, and we're, we're very... Uh, we, would, we have appealed for, for urgent access so that we can assess their needs and meet their needs as soon as possible. And, and this, uh, you mentioned this a couple of times, and it's one of the most important aspects of this. Uh, there is a lack of access for groups like yours, right? I mean, you're not being allowed to go there and, and help these people. Um, we've been appealing for that access, um, and we're, we would like to see uh, access to some of the estimated 30,000 internally displaced people in Rakhine State and also to be able to assist um, any new arrivals in Bangladesh. Uh, we've also called on Bangladesh to please keep its borders open to people fleeing violence, and we're ready to assist um, both governments with these humanitarian needs. What are your concerns about the border? There have been calls on Bangladesh to close its borders. There are efforts to send a lot of these Rohingyas back. Some are getting through, but by no means all who want to flee there uh, what, what sort of pressure can you put on Bangladesh? What should Bangladesh's role be in a, in a humanitarian sense? Well, the Rohingya are really caught in a hard place. I mean, they're fleeing their homes, uh, and yet um, there are reports that they're being prevented from entering Bangladesh. So we're calling on the Bangladesh government to please continue its tradition of hosting refugees and to accept these current people fleeing, fleeing persecution and violence. Um, and, again, assuring them that we, the international community, will be there to assist them as needed.